I'm always interested in learning about painters that use photography as part of their process, and I thought it would be fun to attempt a study in the style of American illustrator Norman Rockwell. Rockwell employed professional photographers to capture scenes that he carefully posed with friends and neighbors, and he then based his work on those photographs. In fact, most of the critical drawing in his pictures was done by tracing the photographs using a projection device called a balopticon. In 2009, a book titled Norman Rockwell Behind the Camera showed us many of those photos alongside their associated paintings. I was able to find a few images connected to Rockwell's after the prom picture. None of them was an exact match for the figures in the illustration, but I decided to use this one as a template for my sketch. I used a digital projector to produce a drawing on my canvas board, and I sealed that with a spray fixative. With white and burnt sienna, I made a monochromatic underpainting. I did this fairly methodically, just by blocking in a limited scale of values. First, a middle tone over everything. Then I painted back into the wet paint with darker values. This is not very creative. I simplified some of the shapes and lines, but mostly I just followed the tones in the black and white photo. Because this is a Rockwell exercise, I'm not even thinking about losing edges, because that wasn't really his thing. I keep the drawing visible by painting thinly. On top of the middle and dark values, I apply my lights, starting with the brightest highlights. This isn't creative either, I'm just sticking to what the photo tells me. When this underpainting seems to have enough structure, I stop and let it dry. When I resume, I cover the painting with middle values of local color. This color is invented, of course, just as Rockwell would have done. It's not observed from life, so it's just kind of generic. The skin is a whitish orange. The blonde hair is some mix of yellow. The shadow of the dress is bluish gray. Because the underpainting shows through, it's not difficult to see where the lighter and darker mixes of color should go. Experience dictates that the white skin will have a red glow around the cheeks, nose, and lips, so that's a safe guess. Leaves are green and flowers can be yellow and pinkish. I'm glancing at Rockwell's color illustration, but it doesn't seem that important to do so. I think that the strength of his rendering is largely based on value and drawing, not on hues. In a way, many of his pictures seem like careful drawings that have been colorized, to use a modern term. And this makes sense to me. When I was a concept illustrator painting in Photoshop, I would often do nearly complete images in black and white and then quickly add color with subsequent layers. It was very fast. Rockwell didn't seem to make much effort to hide his contour drawing, and in fact, in many instances, he seems to reinforce it in the final stages. It's kind of an easy out, but it works just fine and is pretty common in illustration styles. So on this occasion, I'll do it too. So there's my attempt. Let me know what you think. Take care.